Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Royce Miller coming back at you with yet another Let's Try. Tonight on the docket, we're dipping back into ba -da -ba -ba, Buffalo Wild Wings. They're sweet chili and lamb wings. Limited time only. And yes, I got boneless because boneless is superior to bone in. Fight me. I, uh... I forgot a fork. Hold on. I'm back. I can't believe they forgot to give me a fork. Okay. Alrighty. Now, I am a chronic dipper. I will always dip my wings in ranch, even if they're a flavor that is kind of doesn't go with ranch. You think I'm bad? I, I know a kid in high school who liked uh, sugar cookies in ranch. But we're going to try one of these without the ranch first, see how it is. This should be a mild reprieve after those awful, well not awful, but like way too spicy bird dogs the other night. <clears throat> I mean... It's good, but it's not giving me lime. Um, it's kind of a generic sweet wing. Weirdly, it tastes a lot like um, Walmart's Honey Barbecue Wings. That they'll sell at the deli section. I mean, you could tell me that these were, like, the mild version of... Like, if they had made a mild, mild version of Asian Zing, I'd believe you. They're sticky, too. They're, they're, this is a very syrupy sauce. That's how you know it has sugar in it. Sugar is always so darn sticky. That's why sugary soda is always sticky when it dries when diet soda isn't. I, I kind of want to describe the flavor, but there's not much to describe. It's kind of sour, mostly sweet, maybe a hint of spice, but easily repelled by the ranch. I believe that these were lemon infused more than lime infused because like lime is more bitter but not like really bitter it's it's just enough to add a very vibrant freshness and like I love lime flavor um I wish there were more lime flavored like sodas and stuff that gives me an idea for a let's try I still got three pieces left in my gen piece, but I don't know. 
I'm trying to figure out. Because it's almost a flavor I've had. I think it does taste almost exactly like the sweet barbecue wings that Walmart sells in their uh, deli section. Like, with their hot food items. Oh lord, I'm getting full. I should have done a six piece. As I'm approaching 30, my stomach is shrinking wildly. Time was I used to be able to pack down a tw 20 of these bad boys. That was like back in high school. Like I said in the bird dog thing, um, I think I said it anyway, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings used to, or Buffalo Wild Wings opened up in Council Bluffs in like the late 2000s, early 2010s, and Mom used to take us there, and it was awesome. I'd get like, you know, so many of this flavor and so many of that flavor, and I'd mix them around. Oh. Of course, weirdly enough, the best wings that I've ever had, and they weren't just boneless wings either, they were legit wings. This story's gonna require some, uh, some explanation because if I just say where they came from, y'all be like, Royce, you pervert. But I never set foot in the restaurant. I was at an American Legion. <coughs> Excuse me. I was at an American Legion silent auction. For um, stuff like, you know, I, the local Legion in Glenwood, they were a bunch of biker dudes who liked to ride around and stuff. And they were doing a uh, silent auction at, at a golf course. And I went there and I had the best wings I've ever tasted. They were f deep fried, lightly breaded, just perfect wings. And they were from Hooters. Like, what? Hooters actually has food? I I'll be honest with you, I, I always associated Hooters with, you know, perverts who want to be like, who want to ogle big titties. Pardon my French. I mean, but, you know, that's literally, they're called Hooters. You know what you're going in for. And, of course, the Legionnaires had to be a bunch of little, you know, pr immature... Or punks getting them, but... Well, I mean, like, maybe they knew that Hooters had good wings, but... Someone had to be the first one to figure that out. Of that bunch. And I guarantee you it was on accident. Uh... No, and then, um... Of that silent auction, we ended up winning, uh... A nice vest and some, um... Fingerless gloves. She both nice leather items. My brother was the only one who could wear the vest, and I was the only one who could wear the leather gloves because my hands were the big one because they were big ones and they fit my hands best. And then, uh, although that reminds me too, um, so 
when I was like a toddler, my mom and dad took us to this thing called Taste of Omaha. It's basically a carnival where all the local restaurants will have booths set up to let you try out their stuff. Uh, and also chain restaurants. Like, I remember Old Chicago had a, had a stand there and stuff. Um, but, so there was the Hooters Owl in, like, a big mascot suit next to two girls in Hooters attire. And my mom... You know, she was a teen in the 80s. She kind of grew up with the first wave of anti-pollution ads. So she saw the owl and immediately went, Kids, look! Give a hoot! Don't pollute! And then my dad, who is, you know, a man who is in the National Guard and the Army Rangers. Oh, pardon me. The things around me, they're talking. But anyway, my, my, my dad, who is a stereotypical man about it, Notice the women first, and he's was well, like, Angie, uh, th that's the Hooters owl. And my mom was mortified. Because not only was she, did she, like, say that out loud, she was basically showing her kids Hooters girls. And, like, my mom's not a prude, but, you know, she, she, she had her limits. Um, She didn't, you know, she was okay with video games, but she didn't want us killing humans. Except Nazis. Nazis Nazis and terrorists were the only humans we were allowed to kill. So war games were okay, but GTA was ixnay. Um, and then, uh, she, uh, she, the only shows that she hated was The Simpsons, because Bart had such attitude. Which is so funny, because she was kind of a Bart in her youth. Like, she was very, you know... Uh, disrespectful toward her parents, especially her dad. Um, well, I think I've said before, my mom wasn't a punk, but she was kind of a bubble killer. You know, she was one of those 80s mall rat type kids. Anyway, uh, that was good, but it wasn't exactly what I would call a chili lime flavor. Just more of a sweet, with maybe a little sour... Like, honestly, that is more Asian Zing than the Asian Zing. Because the Asian Zing is, like, sweet, but then spice, 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 spice. It burns your tongue. That's just a very pleasant, mild, sweet wing. Goes good with ranch, even. Right, anyway, I gotta go. Y'all have a good one.